And so what had happened was, obviously, the people that had uh, booked the ones around me were a family. So when I've sort of sat down, I had to sit. There was like the mother, two seats up, her daughter, about two or three, to my left, me, and then the son on my right, about three or four. And I've sort of split the family up. But I was so fucked, I thought, I oh, just fucking deal with it. And I've sort of, you know, I'm on the nod anyway. I thought, I won't fall asleep now, because once I fall asleep, I'll usually do maybe like 12 hours. <laughs> that valley, was like time travel. All <laughs> Thailand. <laughs> so I'm sitting there, and I'm thinking, don't fall asleep, then I can hit them up for the free drinks that come round, and they'll probably give us some snacks and that, and that'll be handy. And while I'm sitting there, the mother gives the daughter this like box, this weird box, and I'm kind of curious, so I'm sort of looking at it. She opens it up and there's a, this little sort of plastic mirror. It's like a real mirror, but like it's in this sort of yellow plastic frame. She puts that on the thing that slides down, you know, that little thing. And it's basically like a children's makeup set. I mean, you know, it's not like Chanel lipstick or anything. It's basically just like crayons and paint and that. And she sort of, you know, she's smearing all this shit on around her mouth. And she puts these sort of blue blusher in there. She's fucking caked in it. You know, it's like, it's like, she looks like a prostitute on acid. <laughs> she's sort of blusher there. Look, more, looks more like Pinocchio. But she does all this and I'm thinking, you know, I'm thinking, eh, weird, isn't it? You know, early training, early training. And I'm thinking, weird that the brother got totally stitched up. Although, I imagine he wouldn't want a makeup set. He seemed all right anyway, just staring at like a cartoon on the telly on the back of the seat. Woman comes around with the drinks and that, and I remember I got a gin and tonic, ice and a slice, give her a wink, make it a large one, sweet, lovely, gives it to me. And I can remember, they give out a lot of peanuts, and in my head I'm thinking, right, that's the snack, that's the booze, there's no reason to stay awake anymore. And I can remember, probably because of the Valium and the Xanax, just sort of going, and I thought, there's children sitting either side of you, don't, 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 don't do this. And then I just felt icy cold water down my front and in my pants. <laughs> and I just thought, fuck it. I don't care. I don't. And weirdly, a couple of hours later, I woke up. And I can remember because the first thing that happens, I've looked down and the lemon had stuck dry to like the penis area of my shorts. So <laughs> I've had to sort of peel that off and... <laughs> And I'm thinking, oh, you grotty bastard. Everyone saw you just gouch out and spill a gin over yourself. First thing I've done, of course, is ordered another one. That's come along. The girl next to me still caked up like a clown. She's got this little pot of sweets. And she's sort of... And she drops one. And uh, it goes down in between. <laughs> Her legs. Now, because she's on a plane and that, her little skirt that was probably like knee length has ridden up quite high. It looks like a micro mini on a two-year-old girl. And she puts her hand down in between her legs and she's trying to find this sweet. And I'm looking at her and I'm thinking, this is a, a really weird image. And she sort of looks up at me. <laughs> She looks up at me and suddenly I've got this like two year old girl covered in whore makeup with her hand in her fanny looking at me going <laughs> and I'm just sort of going <laughs> and it's just too much there's too many too many cultural signs it's an intersection of so many lines of meaning i'm just going oh for fuck's sake and i don't want it and i'm looking at the little boy and he's just like looking at me and i notice he's got something he's got one of those sort of net ne hands on the go you know and i'm thinking oh no 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 i'm thinking you must hate me man i've totally separated your family so i think fuck it man because i'm gonna fall asleep and if i don't do something about it now like i say I could be here for another 12 hours. So I, I think, fuck it. So I stand up, I go into the aisle, I unbuckle him, I put him next to his sister, move all his stuff over, and then I'm about to sit down in what was his seat, and this woman from a couple of rows in front, she says to me, don't you think you should ask before you handle other people's children? It's her kid. It's not this and fuck all to do with the other two. <laughs> She's not happy at all. So I have to go, ah, oh, sorry. She says, we want him on the aisle because he can't hold his 
bladder. <laughs> and so I, she moves him back and I have to sit back down and it feels like, because it was, everyone around me is just staring at me and I'm just sort of sitting there like, oh, there, there's that weird bloke that spilt gin on himself within 10 minutes of getting on the aeroplane. Mm, wasn't great, wasn't great. So that was that. I thought I'd share that with you. I mean, having said it now, I don't know if I'm going to bother with that one on stage. That's not five-star material, is it? Thank God I dry-ran it here. But it's always pretty good, man. You know, a two-year-old prostitute playing with a funny... <laughs> it's a kind of an interesting image, I think. Anyway, speaking of that kind of thing... One of my videos wouldn't be complete without something really, really weird. Hi there. Blue. And this is my cyber skin spread wide pussy and ass. 